tips with, with Joan and Priya. There we go. I gotta love using <laughs> Zoom for this because we're kind of there, but then we have a delay sometimes and it's really funny, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Try to do this. So I am super duper excited today. Our very first one that we did was with Alyssa Peak. And mm -hmm. we all learned. And Priya, look at your setup now. I know. Thanks to Alyssa. I have no I bedhead in the background. <laughs> I love it. And somebody that is our, both of our dear friends, our dear friend Tanya Stirl works with Alyssa Peak all the time. Yeah. So this kind of goes hand in hand. It only and makes sense to have her on. Is, we're all wearing pink today, which is kind of fun. So get ready for heck yes to styling tips that take you from confronted to Ooh. confident on Zoom and video. I gotta love this. Yes. This is ah. So, <laughs> Priya, tell us who our guest is. So our fabulous guest in pink is Tanya Stirl. She's the founder of Stirl On Style, a fashion expert, expert, personal stylist, speaker, and published writer. Tanya combines her 18 years experience as a women's wear fashion designer with, with her intuition to create a signature style that expresses one's unique personality, profession, and lifestyle. Tanya's mission is to elevate a woman's image and influence by getting them dressed and ready to be seen as experts and leaders they truly are the creative director for your image. So welcome, Tanya. Hello, Joan and Priya. Thanks so much for having me. I have to say I'm really bummed that Lord and Taylor closed because we can't do my shoe shopping with you. Oh, I know, remember? <laughs> I guess we have that beautiful memory of shoe shopping at Lord and Taylor's Manhattan, New York City. Oh, we gotta find another place to take me this year as soon as we're allowed. You guys are too fun. Yes. Right? No problem. We'll come with us and we'll all shop <laughs> together. But in the meantime, we're all, you know, hashtag stay home, stay yeah. safe. We're all hashtag, I don't like social distancing. It's physical distancing. But to me, this is social. So we are we're socializing. socializing. So help us. <laughs> <laughs> Tanya, you had some amazing tips about why it's important to style properly. And Why first of all, I want that blouse. Thank you. <laughs> Why, thank you. Diane von Furstenberg, Rent the Runway, one of my mm. secret style hacks I'll be sharing today. I love that we did not plan this, yet we're all wearing pink. I know. How like, great. Why did you wear pink, that? Priya? Why pink? Uh, well, Joan before was like, Priya, you need to pop. You need to put on some <laughs> okay. color. And Joan, like, okay, why <laughs> Pink is my favorite color. And, and pink's your favorite color. And I and I have a pink, beautiful pink velvet jacket. And I was wearing my green one. And I said, I'll have the green one as an extra in case yeah. Tanya wants me to change out of the pink yep. one to try something. But listen but I to that. To There's a feeling behind it, right? Yeah. So for Priya, it was to pop on camera. For Joan, pink is your favorite color. It makes you feel happy. We feel yeah. happy right now. Why is it important to even care about how we look or how we're appearing online in our virtual calls and Zoom meetings like this? It's because business is still happening. Yep. We are working from home. We're connecting online. We're showing up for... Zoom conference calls, BNI meetings, networking meetings. People are interviewing through virtual calls. Yeah. So business is still happening. So it's very important to get up, dress up, and show up and be responsible for the impression that you're creating through these virtual meetup meetings. Yep. Absolutely agree. And the funny thing is, this does make me feel good. And I want to make you laugh because this is what I'm wearing on the bottom. You were wearing on that show. <laughs> I wear these all the time. <laughs> well, I'm barefoot. <laughs> I love it. But right now on Zoom, right? It's all about focusing in the frame here, right? Mm -hmm. That's all the show time. So it's really about focusing on the frame from the waist up for what I call your show time appearances. Those meetings, those Zoom meetings, those video calls. Yep. And you have to ask yourself, what is the impression you want to give and how do you want to be perceived in that BNI meeting, in that Zoom call, so that this way you can line up what I call your top five tops. And this goes for the ladies and the gentlemen. Yep. It's all about choosing those tops from the waist up. I've been wearing my same black stretch jeans like every day. No one knows. I just keep <laughs> pushing up the tops on top. I have right? on too. <laughs> yes. 
Yes. <laughs> so really, these impressions we're making online, in virtual world, showing up for these, they have the same gravitas as an in-person meeting. That first time you're meeting a client, that first time you're meeting someone on an online networking event. So really ask yourself, what is the impression you want to give and how do you want to be perceived? Yep. And the good news is, okay, in the middle of COVID, there is so much out of our control. Yeah. But what we put on, we actually have control over. We actually, it's one of the few things we have control over. Now, I'm not saying the roots aren't growing out and no one's been able to get a haircut, right? <laughs> I did mine. Right? I know. We don't so have bad. control over everything, but you know, what we wear, our eyewear, our jewelry, our tops, you chose the pink, you chose the pink. These are actually some of the few things we do have control over right now. So take responsibility for it and think about what you want to wear to send the right impression. Yep. I totally agree. And in fact, you had told me a long time ago when we worked together that even when I'm working at home, I should have that thing that I do, which is why these shoes are my thing. I put them on right when I'm ready to go into my, I live in a studio. Mm -hmm. So my office is my studio, but like when I'm going to the office, I put these shoes on and then later I take them off. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's the perfect antidote to what's happening right now because we're all work from home. Whether you're in a one room studio or you're lucky enough to have a separate office, you're still in your home. Your spouse, your partner, your pets, your kids might be around. So there's a way to delineate your day into like three categories. It's your downtime, pajamas, relax, like the work day's over, productive time. Put together some productive time outfits. And I love that you're wearing your flats. Like I have these cute like little leopard print slip-ons. I don't wear these outside. They're my little indoor shoe. But it mm -hmm. gets you, once you get out of your pajamas and into a productive outfit, outfit, it actually helps you to delineate those different times of day at home. Otherwise, everything just blends and mushes together into one Mm -hmm. ball of like indecisiveness right yeah. so you've got your downtime you've got your productive time you know a great flat a great comfortable blouse wear your stretchy pants that are comfortable um for productive time and then what i call like showtime when you really have to bring it because you're on camera but it really helps the mindset and that's why else it's important it's like I'm so crazy. I change three times a day. I have like, <laughs> I have my, I have my workout outfit. Mm -hmm. Then I have my work clothes and then I have the show time. Right. So it's really important to just create those delineations to create some sanity and mindset differentiating. I yeah. And I also think the makeup part of it is important. Yes. So uh, you hear a lot of women saying they're putting <laughs> on their makeup and it's making them feel whole and you know full again and that they feel like they're doing something with themselves yeah so absolutely it falls right into line with getting dressed doing your makeup yeah <laughs> self-care and style is not superficial no this is not look at me i look fabulous da, da, da. baseline it's self-care and what we all need right now in a crisis in a pandemic is routine mm -hmm. anchoring yeah. in a routine anchoring in a self-care routine getting up doing your stretches, doing a workout, mm -hmm. going for a walk, and also taking that quick shower in the morning or every other morning, and then putting on the makeup again signifies I cared about enough about myself today to get up, get ready, and then it's like, boom, okay. I feel like a woman again. I'm feeling like <laughs> I can do this. I have yeah. to tell you that this, it's funny because I've always, a lot of us, we're entrepreneurs, we've always worked from home. It's like I've always worked from home and I, now I look at it differently because I can't really leave and I, you know, I'm dressing up for the evening event or this, that, and the other thing. But I remember in the past, I would put on a baseball hat and my workout gear if I'm doing my work at home day because we didn't do as much of the video and the Zooms, but I actually get more done by doing this changing the shoes, putting on the lipstick, my glitter. I, I laugh because Priya laughs at me every time now I put my glitter eyeshadow on because it's, <laughs> it's like I'm going to work. I'm working yes. and I definitely get more done. Yeah. What and is there's, that? yeah, there's actual brain science behind that. They've dubbed a term. It's called enclosed cognition. 
Ooh. enclosed cognition. Enclosed cognition. Hashtag yeah. that one, Priya. So Hashtag clothed as in C-L-O-T-H-E-D? Like you're getting dressed, clothed? Yes, enclosed. Oh. We're going to have to hashtag Google that. it. Yeah. <laughs> Look it up. It's anchored in studies and brain science, and it's the effect of what you're wearing, how it how the effect that it has on your own self-perception and productivity, and thus how others are perceiving you. Ah. So there's, it's anchored in, right? That signal of like, oh, I'm in cozy, sloppy, fun, pajama, blah. That just signifies a relaxed mode. But if you're in something a little more structured, a little more tailored, a collar, it just, whoop, it activates this productivity. So it's, it's not, I've been hearing more and more people saying this where there's like, why am I just more productive? And I can think more clearly when I put on that now, there is something to be said about the type of work you're doing. Mm -hmm. So let's say like the other day, I just needed creative brainstorming. I needed to page through the magazines of Vogue to get ideas. I was doing creative writing. I needed to feel a little more soft and relaxed. Mm -hmm. So I had on like knits and stretching. But if it's like emails, um, phone calls, client calls, networking calls, mm. that's a different mindset and activation. So it's not to say, oh my gosh, you have to be in a stiff blazer in order to be productive, mm -hmm. but it's think about the tasks and that level of comfort, but there is something to that activating that mindset to be more productive in a productive uh, outfit. And I even had a client where she worked from home. So yours is the cute flats. I had another client that worked from home. She had this one giant ring and it was like her activation ring. <laughs> it was like, dun, da, da, da. Activation ring. I'm going to work. Damn. I love that. And then when the end of the day was done, she would take the ring off and she'd be like, all right, kids, husband, like cooking food. So find that like activating top or blouse. Well, or shoe I kind of feel like that with my earrings. I put on my earrings. I feel like I'm doing something. See that? So for you, it's the earrings. Without the earrings, it's like, oh, just more relaxed behind the scenes. No one's it. But it's like, boom, bam. Showtime. <laughs> Yes. Right? Yeah. I love it. Done. I definitely get more done on these days. And it's funny. The other day I went in my closet and I was going to grab my Ann Taylor Loft like onesie. It's like very soft and stretchy, like a jumpsuit that could be a home or a go out. And I decided not to put it on. I put something else on and my day was like boom, 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 boom. Yeah. I even closed a it new makes closet. A difference. And it's not to say that, okay, and it's not to say that we can also be gentle on ourselves during no. this time. I will say that if there is, you know, there's just been this wave of ride of emotions. There are people out of work. There are people unemployed. There are people. So you do have to check in with yourself. Yeah. And when you do show up on those group calls or those video calls, it's okay to acknowledge, mm -hmm. I'm just glad I showed up. I had a rough day sorry I didn't brush my hair or you know what I mean <laughs> like it's okay to like maybe you know once or twice to show up or the other thing I was um I'm also on the board for NABO right the National Association of Women Business Owners and we're doing a lot of events online and this one woman I know she showed up but she had her picture up and she said I'm just lucky I made the call she's a lawyer um she's a lawyer she's like I've been working, no, I'm sorry, she's a financial advisor. She's been working 12 hour days. And can you imagine as a financial advisor, bam, what? she's the one that has to look confident and reassuring to her clients. Mm -hmm. yeah. So after working for 12 hours and like wanting to just hop on, you know, an evening networking, so she did this. Boop. She had her profile picture up the whole time. Mm -hmm. And, and she friends. acknowledged. She Loving the time to acknowledge. By Alyssa Peak, by the way. <laughs> yeah, my headshot is by Alyssa Peak. This is the perfect hat. If you're not presentable, boom, make sure you have a presentable profile pickup. So today we all feel happy and energized. We're wearing our pink, but there's something to be said about the choice of colors that you're wearing yeah. and that energy that you need because colors can energize, they can soothe, they can enhance. Like I just have some colors to play with like blue, yeah. the green, oh, right? It's the, same. it's the same blue, green. Green and blue yeah. are soothing colors, All right, right? So think about that kind of energy you need yeah. that day. 
yellow. Alyssa Peek's been wearing a lot of yellow. It's like I love yellow. Yeah. Happy. I'm going to do half and half. Yes. You know, I have a question for you, Tanya. Yes. So New Yorkers are all about wearing black. Black and grays and just dark colors. So, and when we started zo doing Zoom, that's what I was wearing. I was wearing a lot of blacks. Yeah. <clears throat> and of course, now that we're in this phase now where everybody's getting used to it, like you said, we're wearing more colors. What is the psychology behind wearing black? Yeah, so black is, um, it's a safe color. Okay. So the energy, so, okay, sorry, let me break it down. Okay. Black is actually, um, black absorbs light. Mm -hmm. Black is a serious color. Mm -hmm. It's an authoritative color. It's also a color of like mystery. So black is a very kind of potent, serious color. So choose it wisely when to wear it. But I will say on video, black absorbs light. So if you're wearing all black, like look at the difference. If you're wearing all black, now granted this has a pretty sheen to it. Yeah. See the difference? It's just gonna like mm, look pale. Dull you out. Yeah. It's gonna absorb light. It's so funny. It's actually doing something different to the camera lighting as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, so choose black wisely. Now we all have a lot of black in our wardrobes. So let's say you have a lot of black jackets, mm -hmm. black tops or black blazers. Just try to contrast it with a color. Like, Joni, you have a little black and white, or is it navy? Nope, black and white polka, yeah. polka dot. You've got a black and white dot top, but you put the pink with it. So that's the thing to remember about black. It's a little bit more somber, serious. It's got a real gravitas to it. It can also be very chic when done right. Um, but I would say for right now, avoid wearing all black. Yep. If you are going to wear black, something with a little like contrast or detail or mm -hmm. pair it with a color. Prints and patterns. So there's a little bit of do's and don'ts. Prints are okay. And the fun thing about prints, I know the fashionista in me is coming out now. <laughs> the fun thing about prints and being a woman in this day and age is we have more fashion choices than ever. I've been watching the evening news, the um, Channel 7 evening news, and the newscasters are starting to show up in print blouses. Ooh. Whereas before you would think, oh, they're in their, you know, solid oh, colored color dresses yeah. and they're, so when you know it's okay for the evening newscasters to wear prints, <laughs> mm -hmm. it's okay for all of us. So what you want to avoid though, you have to be careful because very high contrast. Mm. Yeah, now, yeah. Joni, yours yeah. is good. It's majority black with a little hint of white. Yeah. This has so much white and little black. If you're online, people would be like getting dizzy. People wouldn't yeah. know where to work, look. So you want to do like monochromatic um, prints that are have a black ground but a pop of color. That mm -hmm. reminds me that we're sh we should be going to an island soon. Mm. <laughs> Isn't right it? Now. Take me away. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get some sand in my apartment. <laughs> right? And this one's black, but it's got a little pink print on oh, it. I love that blazer. What a difference that makes. Are those lips? These are lips. I like oh, that. I wore this last Friday night for date night. Oh. Date night at home with the husband. We weren't going anywhere, but it was like. <laughs> well, and you know Not what? Pink lips. First of all, thank you to first responders. Thank you to your husband. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, my husband's a lieutenant at a firehouse in uh, Brooklyn, and he's back to work, and thank goodness. So far, so good. He's safe. And um, myself and the other firefighters' wives and girlfriends, we started a chat room and a Facebook group. So we're all checking in with each other. So Aww, that's great. Thank you for Please that. Thank him on behalf of all of us. Have you guys tried Rent the Runway Unlimited? I, have I haven't, heard. but I've heard about it. Not tried Unlimited. It's so easy. It's so super easy. So that's my little hacking secret right now. Since I've been way more active on virtual calls and online and doing my how to videos. I was even getting tired of what I was wearing for my own wardrobe, and I'm a fashionista. So the awesome thing is you choose unlimited, you get four items for the month, they come dry cleaned, oh. in bags, sanitary, delivered to your door, you rotate them out, you wear your four fabulous tops, and then when you're done with them, you order another four. And the unlimited for four, for four items, it's $89 a month. Mm -hmm. 
And your first month, you can get a discount for only $69. Plus, Sterlon Style has a promo code. Oh, so, if you go through that. me, Tanya <laughs> at Sterlon Style, I'll send you my $30 off promo code. This has been so wonderful and enlightening, and we do say hack yes to styles yes. that, that take us from confronted to confident. Do you feel more confident, Priya? Yes, you already. You look great in that color, too. And this is an Indian top, by the way. It's an Indian oh, um, perfect. tunic. See, I love, I love that. You're giving a little cue into your like heritage and into your history. Like there's visual cues, like right? With our clothes, our jewelry, our garment choices, because then you're gonna, someone is gonna wanna connect with you and be like, hey, love those glasses or that fabulous top. Ooh, yeah. and if your listeners, if they need help right now, if they're like, Tanya, what the heck do these Zoom tops mean? Or what the heck should I wear if I'm getting out of my pajamas? I'm offering a 30 minute virtual styling sessions. Oh. And they're so super easy. We set it up on Zoom and you'll end up with what I call your top five tops. We shop right from your closet and line it up. So you can contact me, Tanya at Sterling Style. Put it in the comments below as well. We'll put it in the comments, um, or you can follow me on Instagram, all that good stuff for my tips. It's all at Sterling Style.